Hello everyone. Welcome to the series of training for BMC Helix Business Workflows. This is my third video in this series. My name is Vaipa Wadekar. I am Lead Support Architect in BMC Software. Today, I'm going to talk about how to import and export workflows within BMC Helix Business Workflows. This video will cover how to export the service that you have created in BMC Digital Workplace Catalog. You can also learn how to import the service. You will learn how we can entitle that service to a particular group of people or a company. And then we can, at the last, verify whether the service is available to the entitled users or not. Once you log in to BMC Helix Business Workflows, make sure you log in as a case administrator in order to access the Manage Catalog. Once you log in as case administrator, you can click on the service that you would like to export. Click on the Action button and you will see a Export. Click on the Export button. A zip file will be downloaded to your desktop with the name serviceexport.zip. If you try to open that zip, it will be a JSON file. This is the step to export one service or a group of services from BMC Helix Business Work. If you want to import this onto the target environment, make sure you log into the target environment as a case catalog administrator within BMC Helix Business Workflows. Once you click Manage Catalog, you'll be presented within the Digital Workplace Catalog page. Click on the Import from File within My Services section and select the file that you downloaded on your desktop by exporting it from the earlier environment or the source environment. You'll get a pop-up whether you would like to overwrite or do not overwrite the workflows if it is already present on the target system. Click Overwrite. The service will be imported to your target system. In case the service status is in the draft, click Publish the service. This is how you import the services within BMC Helix Business Workflows. Now you have imported the service to the target environment you'll have to make sure that the service that you are imported is available to end users. And it should be available to the only select group of people who are entitled to avail that service. How do we do that? With the help of entitlement. So make sure you log in as Case Catalog Administrator within BMC Helix Business Workflows. Once you click on Manage Catalog, you will be presented to the Services section Within services, if you click, click on the entitlement section. You will see if there is a marketplace defined or you would like to publish it to the virtual marketplace that is available for all users. Click on edit the marketplace where you want to publish this service and click on add. The service name will be listed. Check that box and that service will be available to those sort of people who are entitled to have that service. Once the service is published and once you entitle the service, you need to verify the service is available for end users. So log in to DWP Advance as an end user and search for the service which you just published and entitled. If you're able to see the service, that means your service is available to the end users. Let us look at the demo that covers how to export a workflow, how to import a workflow, adding service to the entitlement, and verify the service is available for end users. As you can see on my screen, I logged into BMC Helix Business Workflow as a case catalog administrator. I click on Manage Catalog. Within My Services section, I selected the service which I would like to export, and then click on the Action button. Here I can see an option to export it. You can see the file has been generated with the service export.zip. If I open this file, you should be able to see that the JSON that has been created as part of the export. Now we have learned how to export the service. Let's go ahead and look at how to import the service. 
again, I log into BMC Helix Business Workflows as a case catalog administrator on a target environment and click on the Manage Catalog. Within My Services section, I click on Import from File. Service Export and click on Overwrite. You can see the message services has been successfully imported. Right here, you can see that one second ago, the service has been imported. From here, you can go to open and publish the service if it is not published. Once you publish this, the next thing that you would like to do is go to services section and entitlements. Within entitlements, you can see that I have a defined setup virtual marketplace that I have defined here. I'm going to click on open and here I'm going to add the service. Right here, I'm going to select employee onboarding and click on add. This is how you add the service to the entitled. Here you can define it is available to everyone or a certain group of people. Now we have published the service and entitled it. Let's log in as an end user. I log in to Digital Workplace Advance as an end user and I am performing a search for the service that we have just imported. From here, you can click on Request Now. Now we have looked at the demo. I would like to take your attention to the links that I mentioned on my screen. These are the links will help you to get more information about how to export and import the workflows. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video.